All right, we got the farmhouse headboard full and queen size. It's made out of wheat, it says. Well, that's, that's the color. Okay, so over here, this is like if you're really into that, it's made from uh, plantation grown trees. So they like to murder the trees all together. All right, here we got the, I've opened the box already. This thing's pretty heavy. So if you're gonna carry it all in one piece, uh, get help or just uh, wing it. Anyhow, here it's open. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start taking it apart. We've got, uh, it says check to make sure you have this stuff. You need eight of these screws and that. They're already counting them. I have eight of those. That's your parts and the tool to install it. Here are the other parts. There's really not too much to this. You have the headboard, the left leg, and the right leg. So I take it, this is probably the left leg, and over here is the right leg. I'll just go ahead and open that up, and that should be everything. Okay, so here's the headboard. Uh, it's pretty heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and take this thing upstairs. I think it looks pretty good so far. Okay, so get your uh, four screws uh, and just put them in there, not all the way, so that you can make sure you get all four of the screws in. Once you get all four of them in there, just tighten them all the way. There are the instructions right there, what we're doing. I just flipped it upside down because it's a lot easier than it. And it holds it nice and steady. So there's that side, and then this side, we just have to go ahead and tighten them in there. Very good, and then we'll go ahead and put it back. I bought these brackets so that it would actually get attached easily to the bed, because the bed frame that we have, it doesn't attach so well. So we got these, and here's the instructions for it. You can see how it's gonna go. It's called a smart base bracket. And it just goes in there on the bed, and it goes easily into those um, into those uh, hooks and these brackets go in right here just like that this bracket will make it so that uh, we can attach the headboard and you don't get this damage on the wall so installed that now you got these two screws in there and it's just like in there it shows you different ones so uh, mine is like well, actually doesn't show it oh well anyhow so I've done part one and at this point now I'm just waiting to get the uh, bed board over here and then we'll just go ahead and install it. Okay, so we know we've gotten it this far. It's already in. Vacuum the floor around there. Now we just have to align these and get that part to that part and attach it. And then we'll be, do then we'll be done. Okay, so in order to get this frame to work, because this frame is actually too small for this headboard. This frame is only, I think, about 51 to 52 inches wide. And these brackets, they just don't, uh, they don't come out far enough to reach where this guy is. So if you have a frame, measure your frame before you buy this uh, headboard. Make sure that uh, the frame is at least uh, 54, I would say side is 54 inches wide. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, that's what I did right there. You can see it over there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bed back so you can see what it looks like. So there it is, nice and finished up. You can see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I like it. It's not too, not too bad to put in, so long as you get the right size frame. And yeah, so I think it looks good. Thank you for watching and uh, catch you in the next one. So there it is, nice and finished up. You can see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I like it. It's not too, not too bad to put in, so long as you get the right size frame. And yeah, so I think it looks good. Thank you for watching and uh, catch you in the next one.